We're talking about knowledge of the future in movies, and in this clip we're going to cover Stanley Kubrick's Clockwork Orange from 1971. So this movie, here's an advisory in advance. This is a um, very intense uh, uh, graphic uh, portrayal of, uh, of violence and uh, very uh, sadistic uh, behavior. So, uh, you want to watch this. Uh, this is a, um, definitely an adult uh, film. So, I watched the first 10 minutes of this movie recently. What they're showing in Clockwork Orange in the opening, they're showing some things from uh, the year 2002 or 2003. These are uh, events in uh, uh, pop culture sort of things and um, another thing that's obvious in this film from 1971 is uh, they show the film projects of uh, the Wachowski brothers uh, who directed uh, The Matrix with uh, Keanu Reeves and they show several of these films I'll go through this it's very easy to see the uh, references a couple other things um, they show some things apparently from the future and um, that is uh, from this recording January 25th 2021 and uh, go back and watch I did a video on um, the matrix uh, like a couple weeks ago um, the matrix may show some um, Marvel or DC uh, project or crossover from the future. So go back and watch that video. There may be some more hints in Clockwork Orange to uh, support that. Yeah, okay, another uh, group of videos to go watch as well as the film is uh, Galaxina from 1980. There are uh, strong Stanley Kubrick references in there. Uh, Alright, so okay, this movie, it opens up. And, uh, and right away you see uh, actor uh, Malcolm McDowell. And uh, he was in a couple of interesting things. Um, he was in Star Trek Generations in 1994. Um, he was in uh, Wing Commander 3, the um, cutscenes from... Um, the PC uh, video game, and he was in that with uh, Mark Hamill, and uh, Reese Davies was in that too. And uh, this crosses over to um, what they're going to show in Clockwork Orange, and that deals with uh, Keanu Reeves. So, um, okay, here's this clip. I'll show this picture. This is from Star Wars 1977. This is the um, X-Wing uh, pilot's briefing. And here you can see uh, Mark Hamill. He's Luke Skywalker. And uh, there's an actor in the foreground, and um, I believe this actor resembles uh, Keanu Reeves. Yeah, Malcolm McDowell, in this scene here, he looks like uh, Tobey Maguire, who was Spider-Man in uh, the early uh, 2000s films. Yeah, this was in 2002, and if you, look, if you uh, bear this in mind watching the rest of these events... In here, uh, you'll see that um, this uh, fits in. But I think they're uh, showing something to do with the future uh, from 2021. And this may be a um, future Spider-Man film or a crossover uh, with uh, DC. Because, okay, watch this. All right, so from the, from the they, they have, have a fix on uh, Alex. Uh, the narrator here in uh, Clockwork Orange, and then they z pull the camera backwards, all right? As they do that, you see some of the other uh, characters in this movie, and you'll see uh, the layout of this uh, milk bar that they're um, sitting in. There are some words on the walls, and um, this is the NADSAT language from the uh, Anthony Burgess a novel which Clockwork Orange is based on and um, many of these words they sound uh, you know uh, Russian 
Eastern European. And um, so think uh, Wachowski. So it's Wachowski. Okay, so it's a, it's a play on words. And a lot of this prophetic stuff in these movies, it deals with um, wordplay, anagrams, uh, idioms, uh, there are synonyms, uh, various puzzles. Uh, you have to use your imagination and, and uh, to figure some of this stuff out. And so there's some very familiar faces that are sitting in this uh, milk bar. Immediately in front of the group of uh, droogs, there's a guy sitting on the right, and he's uh, his head's down. And this guy looks like uh, Elvis Presley. Um, then further back, you can see uh, a guy with a top hat on, and he looks like uh, Robert Pattinson. So this is like very interesting because um, if you're familiar with Twilight, this is a vampire um, love story sort of movie, and um, yeah, the the main characters they resemble Elvis Presley, don't they? That's interesting. And then um, of course Robert Pattinson, he's Batman now in uh, 2021, so uh, he may be Batman uh, for several years. In the future, uh, so the